Thank you. Uh, not a business organization, but a trade union, but that's probably difficult for a Brit to say, so I'll <laughs> take that. <laughs> it is good to be back in Tromsø. I've lived in Brussels for some months now. Last time I lived abroad was when we lived in Moscow, and I have a short trip home in the spring of 2010. And then also a volcano erupted and in Iceland, and I ended up staying four weeks in Tromsø. And it was nice, so hey, dude, we could stay here for some weeks and have fun. So don't be disturbed. I was once upon a time an old history teacher, so I'll start with the Euphrates and the Tigris and the Mesopotamia. And for the organizers, organizer, I will stay on for 45 minutes. <laughs> but still, when we go back there, the only thing we have learned from then to now is that the only way to build societies is through work and through business. All the way. We can do all kinds of decisions, but we end up resilient societies is made from work and from business. That's how it is in the Arctic today. That is how it will be in the Arctic in the future. The Arctic is very many different things. So it ends up with there is no one button you can push or one solution that will fit all. There are different solutions for different areas. And that depends on where you are. You have at least a different Arctic from the Russian Arctic to the European Arctic to the American Arctic. And if your main focus is the nature, the preservation, that means an Arctic with fewer people in the future. We have to have activity to make an Arctic active and livable. Uh, it's going to be very interesting this spring because, or this year, because uh, the EU is now funding a new Arctic policy. And I sense already there's a totally different discussion in the, head, in the capital Europe about, than it was the last time when it was a lot about preservation. Now it's almost all, as much about security measures and how make sure that the EU have an influence in the Arctic area. That will be important to see whether we're going to have an active Arctic with people living there. Because it, there's been a lot of discussion about the climate challenges for the Arctic, how it is now. The other challenge we face just as big is the demographic challenge. Will we take if we should take Faroe Islands into the Arctic, and we are an inclusive family, so let's take them in. They are the ones that have a rise in population. All the other areas has a decline in population, and that is the huge challenge. I want an Arctic with societies that are active, with a lot of people, and I want to have an Arctic. I was born in the Arctic. I was raised in the Arctic, I lived most of my life in the Arctic, and I hope that also my daughter and my grandchildren will see the same with an active Arctic with big societies thriving. Thank you all.